My twin sister and I recently went on a painting and inspo adventure trip to check out Big Bend National Park. It's the only national park in Texas and it's incredible. Anna is an amazing oil painter and she was so generous to share some tips about plein air painting with us today. We're here at Big Bend National Park. This is my twin sister, Anna Rose Bain. She's working on a masterpiece right behind me. We're on a twin trip, just enjoying some wonderful sister time in nature. <laughs> it's a little chilly today, so we're all bundled up, but we're in front of the Chizos Mountains right here. It's absolutely spectacular. I did a little painting. I wasn't super happy with it, but here's my painting. Getting the values right that are so subtle on a day like today is so tricky. But Anna is a super experienced plein air painter and I'm just gonna ask her a few questions about her experiences with plein air painting. And I'd love for you guys to get to know my sister a little better. Here's a link to her channel, so go follow her. Because it was such a cold and windy day, we found a spot just along the roadside where we could quickly set up our easels. Carrying all that extra painting and filming equipment can make long hikes really tough, especially if you don't end up painting anything. So setting up along the road was perfect for this day. Can you tell me a little bit about your setup? Sure, so I try to have a painting setup that's really lightweight that I can fit into a backpack. Um, because normally I love to just hike out to various locations for plein air painting. I like to hit spots that uh, you might not ever expect to see in a painting because it does take a lot of work to get there. Um, but for me, that's half the fun. So this is actually uh, called a fly on the wall easel and um, it packs up really small and it's made by a prolific painter. And this part of the easel, the palette and the mixing space and all that is called the day tripper easel. So I've kind of combined two easels in one oh. today. And I just put them on a regular old camera tripod. Just doing some broad strokes of color and value right now. There's nothing really detailed in here yet, but I try to get the overall color harmony first, and then I can go in and add details later. So what are some of the challenges of painting outdoors? Well, you're seeing one right now. <laughs> <laughs> All the wind. <laughs> so much wind. Sometimes you deal with bugs. Sometimes if, like, if the clouds weren't here, we'd probably be dealing with pretty extreme heat um, since we're getting to that time of year. Other times it might be extreme cold or it might be noisy tourists and onlookers. That can be an issue once in a while. What are some annoying things people say to you while they're walking by and watching you paint? Uh, probably the one I get the most is, can you paint me in there? <laughs> and I'll be like, no, <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> My other answer for that one is, sure, you pay me first. <laughs> what, you charge for your art? <laughs> yes. So for someone who's never done this before, this can seem really intimidating, just having all this gear, getting outside. What advice do you have for someone who wants to start plein air painting but has no idea where to start? That's a great question. Really, I would say start small and start in your backyard. Start with things that you know really well and make it easy for yourself. Make it so that you don't have to lug all your equipment out to, to a place and um, have you be huffing and puffing and sweating and <laughs> bleeding. Make it easy. Good um, advice. Yeah. My second bit of advice would be to limit your palette and choose uh, a selection of colors that you know really well and that you know how to mix because the landscape can be so overwhelming and if you're fighting with your materials and with colors that just makes it so much harder. So start small and simple and gradually work out from there. Wow, your painting looks exactly like what's behind it. It's incredible. <laughs> same colors, same values. I think you nailed it. Ah, thank you. What a great life it is. Mm. And I really can't complain. Leave us some love in the comments below. Subscribe, and then I hope you guys will get outside and paint.